on that job where I just took down that trailer. And I just finished doing that. So I just brought my dozer here. This job, it's on a dirt road that's shared between like six houses. And the road's in pretty bad shape. So while I was here, I got the job of fixing the road as well. So let's go check out the road. Alright, so I'll walk, let's walk down the road and I'll talk about what I'm going to do in each spot. So here it's not really potholed, but... They, the water runs down the center of this and in the winter time it turns to ice so my plan for this spot here is to try to dig away on the right side with the dozer and try to do a little bit of a crown to this section of road and have all the water running in the new trench I'm just going to dig and I'll try to widen this up a little bit too there's a few sections that are potholes and they're all pretty deep like for example here you know that's driving my truck in and out of here has been pretty annoying I've had to go like extremely slow in these pothole sections so here's another section of potholes you know these are all pretty deep Some sections of it are pretty good where there's not potholes, but for example here, you can still tell where the water runs. You know, it's running right about in this line here, and then it's higher, and then, then there's this ditch here, but the water's never running in that ditch. So I'm going to take the dozer and do more of the a crown to this to fix that. But it's also, you know, this is like solid bedrock here. You know, you can't really do much to that. All right, so um, yeah, it's another spot with potholes here, and the same thing. The water's running down right where the tire tracks are. So I'm gonna do the same. So the plan pretty much is now. First, I'm gonna take the dozer and regrade this whole thing. So I'll try to knock down all the pothole sections and try to crown the whole road and cut the edges down quite a bit. That way, it'll be in nice shape then. And then what I'll do is just tailgate a bunch of stone on top of the whole thing. I think we estimated about a dozen loads so that should take care of it pretty nicely all right so let me get started
I just finished smoothing out this road. So let's walk down the whole thing and talk about the different areas. So this spot here, you know, this had potholes, but there was hardly any stone here. I was pretty much almost working with just dirt, but I got it smoother at least. So now coming up to this hill, I probably spent the most time here. This was a little too narrow and the water used to run down pretty much in one of the tire tracks and create ice and uh, the guy on that driveway said they, they even had an accident this winter. A car was sliding down this and, and crashed into him. So now there's more visibility because I cut quite a bit of that hill out of there and um, hopefully there should be less ice because the water should be more to the side. Now more could obviously be done here like I have this deeper here and I could have kept digging it and, st and stuck a culvert pipe in and then went underneath this driveway with a culvert pipe and now over there but you know that's that certainly wasn't in the uh, budget but you know that's something that could be done in the future but this this will be a lot better the way it is now because this whole thing is pitching to the right so All right, this section here, this just had some potholes and I got smoothed out pretty well. And it was nice, I was working with stone here, so. This spot here, this was another spot that had potholes, so I got this a lot smoother too and there was plenty of stone to work with, so. And I dug down on the edges, so the water, and, and tried to put a crown on the whole thing. You know where it's the driveway is higher in the center so the water should run to the sides all right so this section here is probably one of the worst spots with potholes so I got it smoother and I dug out quite a bit on the right side here for water to run so that way the water shouldn't be running down the vehicle lane anymore so the next step on this is to resurface this whole thing with stone it's sort of tempting to just maybe hit this with a york rake to get it a little smoother than I was able to get it with the dozer and call it finished but that wouldn't be a lasting repair even though this is all gravel this is so all the gravel here is so small that it will never, that will always get potholes in it and it's full of dust. So this really needs to be surfaced with some better stone. I'm going to bring in, I think, a number three stone here, which is about one inch to probably one and a half inch size pieces, you know, consistently with no dust. And I'll be able to just tailgate it right out of my truck without needing a machine to spread it out. Now I could hit this with the tractor with the York rake afterwards to maybe get it perfect but I bet it will come out of my truck good enough and the other nice thing about doing it with the truck is see the truck is about eight feet wide and this vehicle lane is maybe 12 so what you do is you do to the right then you do to the left and then what that does is it puts a crown on it automatically because you're overlapping in the center and it builds up that area so it really kind of works perfect so I could do you know right left and then I could do a run right down the center and really put a nice crown on this just just by putting spreading out the gravel so that's next I'll start trucking in gravel now I usually try to film most of the repairs and stuff I do. My truck broke the other day and um, I didn't film it. I should have because I thought it was going to be like a five minute job but I just spent like half the day fixing this dump body but I'll just explain what I did here. So what happened was like three of the hinge pins came out on this thing kind of all at the same time. I don't know how that happened but um, so this one here, the very rear one where the body hinges, that came out and it was only halfway in and then this one here where this thing hinges came out and when I put the body up and then put it, 
luckily nothing bent all up crazily, just a little bit. I, when I put the body down, it, it didn't land back on the frame. It, like, missed the frame. So I was delivering gravel to this guy. He had a tractor there. So I used the tractor and picked up and pushed the body back on the frame where it was supposed to be. But um, And then this thing here, that came out as well. So I just got everything all back together. I got everything greased up now because some of these things, the grease fittings weren't working and I was just kind of ignoring it because I was like, well, you know, how often does a dump body go up? But, you know, I've been using this truck a ton lately, so it's nice that all these grease, I think that contributed to it breaking because all right, so this, this is the pin that holds this thing in and that that sheared off so I drilled it out I got a bigger bolt in there it was pretty tricky getting all that stuff lined up this thing here these bent apart from each other and, and this thing like wasn't long enough so I had to take that shaft out put on a drill press re-drill these holes because they were sheared off and I couldn't knock out the pins and then I had to use a chain binder to pull the body back together to get that thing on but it's all fixed now so I gotta get to work so another thing I got to do to the, my tailgate, I was planning on making a video of that. It's every time I open it from the top, meaning when I take out these pins and hinge it from the bottom, half the time it's been falling off and it's pretty annoying to get it back on. Like you either need a machine or at least like three or four people. So um, this side here is pretty messed up. You know, I, I, I got to fix this. It's, I've been patching up this tailgate a few times since I've had this truck, but... Well, I need to patch it. I should I should fix the tailgate really well and like cut a lot of it apart and you know like replace this entire rear box section and change these pins. But however I fix it, I gotta fix this soon. So I'll do a video on that.
All right, to make this look a little neater, I'm gonna top this number three stone with, this is number two stone, so it's a little bit smaller. So you can see here, I already did the left side. So I'm almost done with the road. So while I was here, I got the job of fixing two of the driveways. So this one's pretty muddy. Looks like a lot of the gravel has been worn away just over the years. So I'm gonna resurface this as well with the three quarter inch gravel. I just finished spreading out the gravel on this driveway, so this looks pretty good. Now this will look even better once it gets rained on and uh, driven on for a while. Driving on it will flatten it out. 
and pack it down a little bit more but you know it looks nice now it was it was pretty muddy so this is good so I also finished the road so I ended up doing it was I gotta look but like more than a dozen loads on this road but it's in pretty good shape now especially considering how bad it was so even this area in front of my truck right here this was like a permanent puddle here so you know now it's like a nice gravel driveway and I put quite a bit of a crown on it so this should last a while I'm probably gonna suggest to these people that um, maybe a load or two later on in the year and then uh, probably every spring you know you could put three or four loads of gravel on this driveway just tailgating it out of the truck which is nice and cheap because you don't need to bring a machine here or anything and uh, that would keep this driveway or this road in pretty good shape Alright, so I'll take the drone and just fly that down, just show you the whole thing.